This video will be going over how to render out an animation. So here we have a little pyramid turning in circles. Yep, it's a great little pyramid. Alright, so what do we do? Let's go to render editor, editor right here. Load this up. You want to choose your renderer. For right now I'm going to use Maya software. It doesn't really matter which one you use. You can use Maya Vector, Mount Array, Maya Hardware. The next thing you want to do is set your resolution. So are you rendering for DVD? If you are doing DVD, then you might want to use um, NTSC or HD or whatever else you might want to use. I'm going to use uh, 720 by 480. Also, depending if you're doing it for TV, you might ch want to change your pixel aspect ratio. So if you're doing a standard TV, it'll be 0 0.9. And if you're doing a widescreen, you would 1.2. But for this case, I'm dealing it for just PC, so it's one pixel aspect ratio. There's also a lot of presets if you notice here. I'm going to go up here now and you can change your file format type. Right now it's currently set to Maya IFF. You can change it to your Targa, TIFF, etc. Use TIFF. And I like changing mine from name, number, dot extension. In the frame padding, if you look up here, currently there's nothing before it. If I put four, you'll see it has zeros before it. I can put three before it. It has three numbers in front. I'll use that three frame padding right now and the file name prefix. What do you want to call it? I'll call this pyramid underscore. This underscore so whenever I have the number it'll be after the underscore. This allows me to take it into After Effects and composite it properly. Um, you also want to set a project so when it renders, it renders to the proper location. Currently Maya's documents, my documents, Maya project default images. You might want to check a specific place. To do that just go to your project settings, new, or wherever you want to place this at. Uh, for this case, I'll just probably place it on my desktop. Desktop and uh, I don't know. I guess I have to create a new folder on my desktop first. And I'll store this into my new new folder three. Desktop, new folder three. I'll put a folder in there. I'll call this pyramid. Open. Use my defaults. Except, if I go in here, I should have all of my files inside. That being said, let's double check it in here. And you'll see in Documents, Desktop, New Folder, Peer Menu, Project, Images. So whatever I render will go straight there. Now you go down here and tell what frames you want to render it by. I want to render from frame 1 to frame 49. So, 49. Then I'll go frame 40 single frame and I'll render one image. Once you have all that set up, you want to check your Maya software, change whatever quality it is. If it's final project, I recognize using a production quality. Um, you also want to check anything else in here. If you have no reflections, then make sure this is off. If you do have reflections and refractions, turn this on. Also that goes the same for having uh, ray traced uh, shadows. So if you have ray traced shadows, you might want to turn ray tracing on and turn off the reflections and turn off refractions. This way it looks a little bit more realistic. But I don't have anything reflecting, not using ray trace shadows. In fact, I have no lighting at all. So with that done, you can go through here and change any other options you need. But usually with production by default, you pretty much have everything, you, uh, everything set down. If you're using Mental Ray, you want to change some of your settings in here. Mental Ray is another renderer you can choose from. Um, again, you can choose all the same settings in the front. You can also render a separate uh, depth, Z depth past. Different passes, features, etc. You can do, uh, you know, tune shading, etc. From here, also do uh, production level. If you have indirect lighting, you turn on global illumination, final gathering, or you know, HDR lighting. It's all up to you. But I don't have anything fancy, so I'm just using my software production quality. Once you have that, then uh, there's different uh, ways to render. So I'm gonna go to rendering right here. We go under render right here. You see batch render. Let's go to options. You can tell to use a certain amount of processors, so in case you have multiple processors, uh, you can dedicate to only use four or five of it instead of, you know, all your eight or something. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to use all available processors. Once you're ready, click Batch Render. Mine, I'm currently using a student version. I click OK. And once that happens, I'm going to click Batch Render. Uh, yeah, whatever. Continue over that. And in here, it should be rendering now. Render it Maya software. 
temporary saving my file because I didn't save it at all, and it's just gonna go at it. You see that? Going through every single thing. You'll notice in your script editor down here the, uh, how it's going. It's just a pyramid, so it renders very quickly. Oh, it's done already. So with that, you should have your files saved out in here. New project. Let's check out where it says. It says images, and ah, a little tiny pyramid. The cool thing is they do all contain a little uh, alpha in the background. So I can open up After Effects. Okay, here's After Effects. There we go. And uh, I just want to load up my files. I can go Import, File, my desktop, uh, 3, Pyramid, Project, go to Images, click on one of them, and make sure TIFF Sequence is selected. Click Open. So you can either ignore your alpha, go straight on matte, and pre-multiply matte color. I'm going to say straight on matte. That way, I can just drag this inside. There's a black background in there. The cool thing with this is I can create a new solid or anything else underneath it. Whatever color I want also. Place it underneath, and you basically have it comped. You can go in here, change your color you want. If you don't like your dark gray, you can change it to whatever other color. You can change your opacity if you need to, too. And same with the uh, top. So let's go back to our composition and change the color to anything you need. Uh, that allows you to basically slide in any um, background you want inside it. From here, you can render it out. Um, composition, add a render queue, put module, what file format you want. Uh, you want one quick time, for example, format properties, maybe you want animation or any other setting you might have here. H.264, MPEG-4, etc., etc., what quality you want. And if you have audio, you can place that also inside After Effects. Make sure when you're dealing with audio, you use AIFF or WAVE. Uh, basically, anything un uh, uncompressed, go to Audio, change your format options if you want any compression or not. Once you're done with that, you can just output file, tell you want to save it out, and click render, and you're good to go. But essentially, you can play with all the things you want in here. You can press play and see how it plays in the background. Uh, this is uh, After Effects CS5, so it does use your video card to play it, so this is actually playing uh, pretty much real time. 30 FPS, you can change your composition, composition settings, change anything in here. Currently, mine is set to DVNTSC. I'm going to set my square pixels now. Uh, I can also right click on this composition or uh, imported footage and go here and interpret footage main and have it interpreted a certain way. Currently it's being interpreted as 0.91 and as square pixels so have it read everything as square pixels. So there you go, pretty simple.